Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us learn another method of proving congruency of triangle by use of appropriate measures. Say we have a triangle and we have to make a triangle which is congruent to this one. So we have already found that giving the length of one side is useless and more information is required to draw a congruent triangle to this one. So if I give you one of the angles on this line still it won't be possible for you to draw a unique triangle or the triangle that is congruent to the given triangle but if I give you the measure of another angle on the same base then of course you can draw a triangle which is congruent to this triangle you can draw line segment AB 4 cm in length with A as center and using a D we can construct a 45 degree angle. Similarly with B as center we can draw a 30 degree angle and these two angles will intersect at some point C so as to give a triangle ABC which will be congruent to the given triangle. Hence we now state ESA property if under a correspondence two angles and included side of a triangle are equal to corresponding angles and the included side of another triangle Let us read the question. By applying ASA congruency rule, it is to be established that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle QRP. And it is given that BC is equal to RP. What additional information is needed to establish the congruency? ABC is congruent to QRP means A should correspond to Q, B should correspond to R and C should correspond to P. Now it is given that BC is equal to RP. So these two sides are given equal. Now if we want to establish the congruency of triangle ABC with QRP then angle B should be equal to angle R and angle C should be equal to angle P. So we can say that if angle B is equal to angle R and angle C equal to angle P then we can say that we have established the congruency of triangle ABC with angle triangle QRP by ASA property and we write that for ASA congruency of the triangles we need the two angles between which the side BC and side RC are included and so the additional information required is that angle B should be equal to angle R and angle C equal to angle peak. 